Hello everybody, I am Distinguished Toastmaster Colin and I am going to speak to you about two very crucial roles of the contest, that of the voting judge and the tiebreaker judge. Let's begin with the voting judge. The voting judge is invited by the chief judge and after appointment, two very crucial things have to be done by the voting judge. Number one, sign the judge's eligibility and certification form along with other details and sent to the chief judge before the beginning of the contest and attend the judge's briefing by the chief judge. Also to keep in mind is the ethic. If you are mentoring a speaker in the same contest, it would be preferable that you do not judge the contest. Now during the contest, the voting judge has to ensure that the judge's ballot is signed and also preferably the name written on the judge's ballot. Ballots without signature, remember, are invalid. Judges can judge only as per the judging criteria on the ballot and nothing more. At the end, choose only first, second and third place. No tie is allowed. No two contestants can share first place or second place. One contestant each. Cut off the ballot from the lower portion and hand, it, hand over only the lower portion to the ballot counter assigned to you. Do not consider time in judging. Protest only for originality and mentioning of another contestant or contestant speech. Participate in the protest hearing if needed. After the contest, do not speak to other contestants and give feedback for that matter. Do not speak to anybody about the contest and give feedback and do not criticize the contest. For the tiebreaker judge, tiebreaker judge is a completely secret judge only known to the chief judge who appoints him or her. Before the contest, the tiebreaker judge signs the eligibility and certification form and presents other details required and sends it to the chief judge, attends, attends the personal judge's training. The, judge, uh, the, uh, the tiebreaker judge has to undergo a direct personal judge's training only with the chief judge. And the ethics of recusing also applies here. In case there is a contestant uh, tiebreaker judge is mentoring, the tiebreaker judge uh, should not take up this role. During the contest, ensure that the judge's ballot is signed and preferably name entered in block letters. Also, mark ballots without signature, remember, are not valid. Judge the contest only as per the judging criteria and nothing else on the ballot. Mark all the participants in order of ranking. So if there are 10 participants, you need to rank each participant 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 according to what you have discerned. Then cut over the lower portion of the ballot and hand it over only to the chief judge and nobody else. Do not consider time in judging. The tiebreaker judge cannot protest and does not prote uh, participate in protest hearings. After the contest, do not speak to contestants and give feedback about their speech and also do not criticize the contest. So Toastmasters, I have tried to brief in, full, in brief explain to you the role of the chief judge, explain to you the role of the voting judge and the tiebreaker judge and I hope you have great contests in your club, areas, division and later on in the district. Thank you.